I so hope Sheridan doesn't have to suffer the same fate that I did. To have your baby taken from you. To spend the rest of your life wondering whatever happened to the child that did damning yourself but not protecting your newborn. Eve, don't. I can't help it, Julian. It's been over 20 years. And even with all the resources at your disposal and the, the leads that we got from your investigators, we are still no closer to finding our son. I hate it that you have... I've had to suffer so much over these years. I, I, at first, to think that our baby died, and then to have had that vision that he was taken out of the hospital as you, as you looked on helpless to save him. I know that's what happened to him. That our baby lived, and then he was taken from us to God only knows where. You know that this is all my fault. It, it is. It, it's my fault. I should have stood up to my father when he forbade me to see you. I should have married you then and there. I should have... I should have been a good father. I should have been a good husband. I, I failed you, and I failed our son. I, I'm so, so sorry. No, Julian. What's done is done. Besides, we were, we were very different people then. But even so, I, I should... I've forgiven you, Julian. And I think it's time you forgave yourself. I don't know if I can. You try. And I will keep looking for our son. I'd give anything in the world to see our little baby all grown up. See who he is and what kind of a man he turned out to be. Oh my God, Eve. I've never seen so much paperwork. Damn it. Where did you go? Liz, you were right. I never would have believed it. I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Oh, TC, I mean, this is par for the course, honey. Aside from Sheridan's medical records, most of these papers are from the media, wanting information on Sheridan's condition and, and the kidnapping of her baby. Sweetheart, you have to be Sheridan's doctor and deal with the media, too? Oh, no, Sam was, Sam was taking the brunt of it, but he went home to see Grace. Why, Julian! Yes, I would expect to find you here. Now, why is it that every time T.C. and I are looking for E, you are somewhere close by? Yeah, Julian. What the hell are you doing here with my wife in this hospital? I'm not here to be near Eve, as Liz is implying. I came to check on my sister. You don't give a damn about anyone in your family, Julian. Oh, I agree with T.C. You know, I haven't been here in Harmony for very long, but long enough to know that you don't have a closeness with your sister. Mm. In fact, from what I hear, you care about your sister oh, about as much as my sister cares about me. Well, you've heard wrong, because I happen to love my sister a great deal. Although the specifics aren't comparable, much like you and your sister. Our father is to blame for the problems that we've had. But you see, the difference between you and me is that I love my sister enough to try to fix what's broken between us because she and I are family. So, do you see what brings you and Liz down to the hospital? We came here to see Sheridan. And Antonio. I see. Now, honey, if you have a moment, I want to talk to you. Oh? Honey, it's about our family. What's happened to Sheridan has made me realize that I need to work to get our family back together. I mean, Simone is off on her own, doing her own thing, feeling second best and second rate. You and I have had some problems together. And then there's Whitney. I mean, we are estranged from our own daughter because I am too selfish to realize that she loves Chad. Sweetheart, I want to talk to you. I want to figure out how we can get our family back together again. As you might, you can't tear those two apart. They love each other too much. Well, I'm not going to give up. And you should be cheering me on, Julian. 
Once I take TC away from Eve, she will just run right into your waiting arms. I will have my revenge, and you can have Eve back. Your dream come true. You know, if those stupid orderlies hadn't cut us off, TC would have seen you holding Eve, and then your whole relationship would have come out. Good God, woman, let it go. Get some therapy, get a life, but leave them alone. I got a better idea, Julian. Get on board with me. <laughs> Come on, once I torpedo TC and Eve's relationship, you and Eve can finally be together. Please, that's just it. You tried to tear them apart and haven't been able to. Mm. Yeah. Look at them. Look how close they are, how much they love each other. Yes, well, Eve may love TC, but she never had the passion for him that she has always had for you. And as for TC, he loves the woman that he thinks Eve is. Once he finds out the truth, he is going to wash his hands of her. So you see, I can have my sister's husband, and you can have Eve again. Your dream come true. After all these years, I don't think that Eve would come back to me. Of course she will. In fact, you can have Eve regardless of whether TC dumps her first or not. All you have to do is find your son and bring him back to her. Then Eve will be bonded to you forever.